Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, I will show you how to use the coffee module in Drupal. Now, when I say coffee, I don't mean this type of coffee. Well, this is technically tea. Um, I'm talking about the module called coffee. Now, this module was inspired by the Mac apps, um, Alfred and Spotlight. And what it does is that it gives you a command key, which you can press. And then in Drupal, it'll give you a nice little auto complete pop-up where you can search for pages and simply jump to those pages directly. And it's very useful for navigating backend pages because there's nothing more annoying, annoying even for me as a site builder is trying to get to the manage display page. You have to go structure, content types, pick your thing and uh, it's too many pages. You know, Drupal's click-based, click, yeah, what is it? Click-based development, that's what I call it. Um, and and yeah, this module makes it easy to jump to these particular um, pages just by pressing a command line and jumping over to it. So I wanna show you how to use it. And there is already a tutorial on Webwash. So I will link to this tutorial in the show notes below if you prefer to consume your knowledge in text form. It pretty much explains pretty much exactly what I'm gonna explain right here. So. Let's get started. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is download it. So let me jump over to my terminal and type in composer require Drupal slash coffee. Okay, so that's been installed. Um, setting up this module is pretty simple. We go to then our site. This is a vanilla Drupal site, absolutely simple. Um, just standard installation profile. Search for coffee, and then we go ahead and install it. And straight away up the top, you might see this go to button. If you click on that, it actually brings up the pop-up. Let's go to the homepage. And I believe if you press Alt-K, Alt now it's a bit annoying because the mic is pretty much in the way. And type in Alt-K, you can see, oh, what is it? Oh, there's a few options here. So you can see over here, and then it's um, an alternative, oh, sorry, Alt-D, sorry, Alt-K, Alt-D. Where is it Alt-K as well? Oh, okay, yeah, Alt-K and Alt-D, okay. Uh, I'm sure if you're on uh, Windows, it's perhaps a little different. Look at the project page or look at the tutorial on a webwash. So if we bring up the pop-up and search for a backend. So I will search for um, content types. What is it, content, if I can spell it. Content types, you move up and down. Uh, you can say, actually, I wanna go to content types, you go directly to it, and you can jump over to it, which is pretty useful. Uh, we can bring that up again and we can say, oh, what's what's one? Performance, always need to flush the cache, eh? Come here, you can go there and flush your cache. Another thing you can do, which I find pretty useful, is if you put in a colon uh, and then you can go to the, I guess the home page, or if you type in add, then you can say, select say basic page, it will then take you directly to the create basic page, which is pretty useful. I like it. Uh, another thing you can do is if you go to configuration and search for coffee, you can select other menus to appear. So if you want your main navigation to appear, you can have it appear in the dropdown. So when I say that it's useful backend, yeah, yeah, it is mostly useful backend, but you can use it to search any menu item on Drupal. And then if we go to people and then click on permissions, where is coffee? Oh, it's right at the top here. You just wanna make sure that um, if you do have an editor role, which you should for sure have an editor role, just make sure you give them access to access coffee so that they will see it or they won't see it at all. Now, while I've got you here, another module I wanna show you that pretty much does similar functionality is, let me see if I've got it installed. Admin, toolbar, do I have it? No, I don't, okay. So if we have a look here, admin toolbar, I think I've already, I, I have done a video on this. I have, I think I have. Admin toolbar, admin toolbar. I, I, I think I have, just give me one second. <laughs> that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. Infinite scroll, views. There is a admin, here we go. I knew I did one. Oh, I didn't write the tutorial, I did the video. Okay, so 
there is this admin toolbar module that just, um, there is this admin toolbar module that extends the functionality of the default toolbar, but it comes with a very useful sub module. And what that is, is admin toolbar search. I believe that's it. Let me quickly show you. I know this is about coffee, but it's always good to learn about extra things. This is like an extra top tip. All right, so we've installed that. I will link to the video as well, to the longer video of admin toolbar. And let's just uninstall coffee. I don't know if there's gonna be any type of uh, conflicts. Uh, can't even spell coffee. Well, it is pretty late here. And let's uninstall it. Then go to list, search for admin, and let's install admin toolbar. Okay, you want to install this one, admin toolbar search. And let's also install these as well. And then click on install. Okay, see now, well, let's go to the homepage. Now you get this admin toolbar quick search. And if you search for anything up here, you can quickly jump to sections. Of course, it doesn't look as fancy, but I do use admin toolbar on a lot of websites and it is pretty good. So you could go to the display. What is it? No, manage display. Manage display. It's pretty cool. You can jump to a specific manage display for what, what is this? Oh, the contact form. Okay, that's cool. The only annoying thing with this is if I was to type in this and then manage display. Oh, oh no, it does work. Okay, good. All right. I stand corrected. This does work. All right. So you can filter down by saying, you know, content type, then manage display. Anyway, so that is how you use coffee and also a quick how to on how to use admin toolbar quick search, which is a sub module of admin toolbar because they both pretty much do the same thing. It's a simple UI for a site builder to jump to pages just so that they can jump, you know, instead of clicking on like 20 links to get to a simple page. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn more about Drupal, just head over to webwash.net where you can learn about WordPress and Drupal. I pretty much said that twice. And another thing while I've got you here is I, is I have made all the courses on Webwash free, as in you do not have to register. Before you had to register, but now you don't have to register. Just click on it, start watching and go nuts. Um, yeah, so enjoy it. Don't have to register. There is a new premium course, which I published about two or three weeks ago. I've been working on it for like six months, finally got around to it. Uh, it teaches you how to manage content models in Drupal, it teaches you all about um, content types and fields. As there's, a, there's a lot about managing fields, how to, how to attach fields, all the different field types, uh, because this is a very important part of the Drupal site build. You want to get this right. And it's also where Drupal strength is. Anyway, check it out. Just go to webwash.net, go to courses, and that's it. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.